morning thinking about anger as Jesus gives us some words in the Sermon on the Mount. This is the third day that we have talked about anger. Verse 21 of Matthew 5, you have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother will be liable to the council, and whoever says you fool will be liable to the hell of fire. Now, we alluded to this um, in our last video, but what I want to do is just highlight how Jesus tells us to deal with anger, because how Jesus tells us to deal with anger is probably, I don't know, how we should deal with anger. So, what does he tell us? Well, first, he tells us to take it seriously. I mean, you get that right out of the gates. But I say to you that everyone who's angry with his brother, like, pay attention. This is what I'm telling you. If you're angry, you got a problem. If you're angry with your brother, you got a problem. Take it seriously. Let me give you just a couple of verses here. Proverbs 29, 22. A man of wrath stirs up strife, and one given to anger causes much transgression. Problems flow from you being angry right? Famously, Dallas Willard said, there's nothing you can accomplish with anger that you can't accomplish better without it. Don't forget that. There's nothing you can't accomplish with anger that you can't accomplish better without it. Ecclesiastes 7, 9, be not quick in your spirit to become angry for anger lodges in the heart of fools. This is ironic. You might say to somebody, you fool, in anger. But what's lodged in your heart? Anger, you fool. <laughs> That's what lodges in the heart. James 1.20, for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. You'll never get what you want by being angry. There's a second thing Jesus says, though. Verse 22 again, but I say to you, and then later he says, whoever insults his brother. So he speaks and he says, listen, you be careful before you speak because you might be given to that reactionary insult. Whoever insults his brother will be liable to the council and whoever says you fool will be liable to the hell of fire. So to reemphasize where we mentioned ponder, think, be silent, here's the thing. Guard your words. Curate your speech. Listen to Proverbs 17, 27, and 28. And by the way, I'm doubling up on these thoughts about anger because we've got to spend some time thinking about them. Proverbs 27, or 17, 27, and 28. A man of knowledge uses words with restraint, and a man of understanding is even tempered. Even a fool is thought wise if he keeps silent and discerning if he holds his tongue. A man of knowledge uses words, but with restraint, he's careful. Be careful with your words. So the first two things Jesus tells us, right? Take it seriously. Guard your words. I give you the third one in our next video. May the Lord bless you.